morning and welcome to today's Fire with Fits. The major indices are once again in record territory. And frankly, this is beginning to make the running of the bulls in Pamplona look like amateur hour. Now, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a pullback because short-term traders have to digest the move. But as always, that is something to harness, not fear. Here's my playbook. Number one, all tech is not equal. Snap and Facebook got hammered because their revenue models depend on highly personalized adverts. So they got clipped by Apple's new privacy regs. Google's revenue, on the other hand, still mostly comes from search and YouTube and a holistic approach that allows that company to skirt many of the privacy restrictions that are hammering others. And not for nothing, Google owns Android, so there is that too. By the way, Google Alphabet, whatever you want to call it, just turned in its fifth consecutive record quarter with a staggering 65.12 billion tallied. Two, this could be Cupertino's worst nightmare. Microsoft is now in a position that it could dethrone Apple as the world's most valuable company. We'll see, but meanwhile, it is still the world's stickiest company. And that's key for savvy shareholders. Still, this isn't one or the other situation. I recommend owning both Apple and Microsoft because the real game is just getting started. Watch my take elsewhere on the channel for Mornings with Maria earlier today. Point number three. Buy and hold this stock if you really want to beat inflation. Now, here's the thing. Conventional analysts thought that inflation would hammer McDonald's, but I had a different take based on my research. I told the One Bar I had family specifically that rising food costs would boost both revenues and profits thanks largely to tech-driven investments that improve order values, increase efficiency, and make profits rise. Now, that's exactly what happened. McDonald's is a glowing, growing global story. Boy, if you don't think I had to practice that, ha, huh, what a tongue twister. Anyway, it's a global story, it's growing quickly, and it's an ultra-refined view of technology, not just burgers like everybody thinks. Point four, why this company could crater your portfolio. Robinhood's earnings were an unmitigated disaster with a 40% drop from two quarters ago and shares dropped 9.4% yesterday alone. According to company Boffins, this is because crypto trading fell off the map and revenue dropped. But I don't think so. Seems far more likely to me that Robinhood's customers have begun to figure out the game being played at their expense when it comes to stuff like dark pools and payment for order flow. I suggest avoid Robinhood like the plague and that doesn't even begin to cover how I really feel about the stock. Number five, here's your chance if you ever wanted to sound like a Martian. NASA's out with something interesting and it's perfect for Halloween. By the way, my wife says it is absolutely par for the course around our house because I'm from another planet. But then again, she has some unique perspective given that we've been married for 25 fabulous years. Anyway, today's bottom line. Contrary to what many investors think, there is no shortage of profit potential. Just a shortage of people thinking big enough. You got this, I promise. Now, as always, let's get out there and make it a great day. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching today's Morning 5 with Fitz. Click subscribe to get daily market notes right here on YouTube or sign up for the email versions at the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for my real-time thoughts on markets, analysis, and more.